What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we got a good one from Polana Productions. Jeff Hardy deserves better. I think we all can agree just off the title of this video alone that this statement is true. He deserves a lot better. That is why I am happy that Matt is doing his thing in AEW. And maybe, maybe Jeff will end up leaving WWE at some point. And head on over to AEW with his brother. I'm not sure. But we all know Jeff deserves a lot better than the current state he's in right now. So we're going to see what Polana Productions has to say. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this one. On the last episode of Monday Night Raw, Jeff Hardy was put in the 24-7 championship segment where he had to chase after Reggie. He ultimately had to basically catch him and fall to the ground. This is how WWE treats a former world champion. When you're in a WWE 24-7 championship segment, you're not even in mid-card purgatory. You're not even fighting for the United States Championship or the IC title. You're fighting for the bottom of the barrel at this point. It's your time to leave, my guy. It's your time to leave. That is still loved by so many people. The way that WWE books Jeff Hardy is embarrassing. It's pathetic, and this is one of the reasons why people don't like watching WWE anymore. Fact. How do you have a legend like Jeff Hardy at your disposal only to make him do this stupid shit? It makes literally no sense. Jeff Hardy can still go in the ring, the icon is still immensely popular, and he's got a lot more star power than a majority of the WWE roster, and true. most important of all, he has a large fan base that would be more than happy to see him succeed in WWE. I'm still a big fan of fucking Jeff Hardy, man. I grew up on Team Extreme. Like, what do you mean? Like, what? He should definitely be in a mid-card, potentially upper-card, like feud of some sort something instead of fighting for the 24 7 champion no no bro we all know that belt is 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 a waste of time it's it's literally a bathroom break championship no one cares about that belt the only reason why it had some type of popularity was because our truth made the best of it outside of that no one is really going to be like, oh, I remember when this guy was the 24-7 champion. No one cares, bro. I don't mean he needs to win a WWE championship like the world title. No, I don't. That's simply not realistic. However, Jeff Hardy deserves much more than a 24-7 championship segment. Yeah. You can do so many things with him that it's mind-blowing that he's been relegated to this. Wrestling Twitter was furious about this decision, and a lot of people let it be known on Twitter. There were many tweets of people displaying their anger, and I'll even throw some of them up on the screen right now as I speak about it. It's actually gotten so much traction that Jeff Hardy had to speak out about the situation. He said, and I quote, I show up to work and do what they need me to do, and I move on. That's in the past, and this Monday is the future, so I'm super excited. It's obvious that he's trying to be optimistic, but let's be real, nothing is most likely going to change with Jeff Hardy Jeff, and his deserve bookie. better, bro. He's being a good employee, and I'm sure the yeah. money he's making is really good, but even he's got to be annoyed a little bit at the fact that his current booking is atrocious there's better, no way jeff. that you're literally putting a future hall of famer through something like this i say that jeff hardy and edge are the two current active wrestlers within the wwe right now that will become future hall of famers Facts. they both have massive fan bases and on one hand you have wwe putting edge in high profile feuds True. and matches against the likes of randy orton roman reigns and seth rollins and then on the other hand, you have Jeff Hardy who is running out to fight Reggie for the 24-7 championship. Do you see the disrespect? It is not fair at all. And then you have Christian in AEW holding the TNT uh, World Heavyweight Championship. I said TNT. TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Having a, a, a feud with Kenny Omega for the AEW Championship. Having a... Uh, a win streak, a win, uh, win streak, a win streak. Um, before he lost his Kenny Omega. Um, then you have Matt, uh, Matt Hardy doing his thing as well. You know, create going with his own gimmick. You know, creating his own feuds. And then you have 
Edge, of course, doing some of his the best work he's done in his career with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. He has a high profile matches in, in Fuse right now on SmackDown. And then Jeff chasing for the 24-7 title. All right, then. When you compare him to another legend of his status, it's very obvious to say that Jeff Hardy should be treated way better than how he's being treated right now. If I was a part of the creative team, I would quickly move him over to SmackDown yes. and he'd start feuds against Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. He doesn't even necessarily need to win those matches, but I just think he's on their level. Those are some matches that people would pay good money mm -hmm. to see. WWE is really missing out on Jeff Hardy's value, in my opinion. Demon Finn Balor versus Jeff Hardy is a money-making dream oh, match facts. that I'm sure a lot of us would love to see. Then, if you give Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy 20 minutes in the ring with a meaningful storyline, that would make the adult fans feel like a kid again. And Jeff Hardy chasing the world championship one last time against Roman Reigns would give people hope only to crush it, giving the mm -hmm. Tribal Chief even more heat. Yeah. As great as that sounds, Simple. instead Simple we have Jeff Hardy on Raw looking like a fool. This is no different than WWE thinking that Adam Cole should have been a manager on the main roster for Keith Lee. I heard about that. I heard that was what they were going to do. Or where the reports were saying he was going to be in a manager role. I am so glad he went to AEW. Thank God he went to AEW. Because that would have just destroyed everything he did in NXT. He is arguably one of the best wrestlers in WWE at the time, and you was just gonna have him be a manager? The leader of one of the best factions in wrestling, the Undisputed Era, to just be a manager? I'm glad he's all elite. It's also no different than how Andrade said he was being mistreated, which led to him asking for his release. It seems like WWE is not the number one destination for professional wrestlers anymore. Oh yeah, I've been hearing little rumblings that Kevin Owens may leave too. If he goes to AEW, that's another, whew, that's another big one, bro. Be honest with you. Ah oh, man. Even Kevin Owens teased that he would follow in Adam Cole's footsteps and join AEW in 2022, and I would not be surprised if Jeff Wouldn't Hardy be. felt the same way. Please. At this point, he would probably be better off in AEW with his brother. Yes. It would be nice to see him have a reunion with him, and the Hardy Boys could be cool. I'm sure Tony Khan would book him better as well. Yes. For now, though, he is stuck with the WWE because he signed a contract in 2020. Hopefully, though, he is right and things will be better this Monday, but I personally do not see it happening. But it's better to remain optimistic than pessimistic. We'll just see what happens. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much. Nah, he deserves better. I don't see it going any better. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, man. Jeff, just complete your contractual obligations. Get the fuck up out of there. Head to, head to AEW with your brother, bro. So we can see Team Extreme one more time. Have a nice, good run. They could really do some things in the tag team division if they wanted to. Ah, oh, man. It's just so many things, bro. So many ways they could really tell some great stories in AEW. They could do it in WWE, but they're not going to. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys think Jeff should go ahead and head on over to AEW with his brother, Matt. Let me know. I personally think he should. Once his contract ends, I think he should hightail it the fuck up out of there and go to a company that's going to pay him good money and he will be able to actually perform and be in some high-profile uh, segments, matches, link up with his brother again. I don't know. I, I think it will just be a lot better if he went to AEW than being in WWE right now. But comment down below. Let me know. I think he should do that, but I appreciate all the love and support. Road to CCK. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.